today's topic is going to be uh, managing object properties so basically what we are going to work with with the layer panel and understand how these layers work and why are they so important when we are using AutoCAD now why do we use layers uh, what's the use of layers when it comes to architecture or even engineering drawings basically when we are using layers what we do is draw different objects on different uh, different layers like for instance if you see the doors are drawn a different color and they are drawn on a different layer called as doors now there's so many different types of layers that you see over here like for instance if I were to draw uh, the furniture so if I were to draw the furniture which is you see over here I would be using my furniture layer there's a layer called as a hidden line if I want it, uh, all my hidden lines I would put on the hidden line layer. Then there would be a layer called as a center line, which you could use again uh, in architecture and engineering drawings, where you put everything uh, that has a center line on the center line layer. Now, all these layers come default uh, with the AutoCAD template uh, that we would be using when I go File, New, and I see these templates. So far we've been using IMFG, which is for manufacturing drawing, but if I'm working with architecture drawing, I'll be using a tutorial iArch. If I'm using an architecture metric drawing, I'll be using tutorial mArch. So I have already that drawing open. Those drawing have been done before. It has been worked with layers. Now if you see there's a layer for walls. All the walls are done on the same layer. All the windows are done on the same layer all the doors are done on the same layer so uh, when I work with layers it gets really easy for me to navigate through my drawing to hide some of the layers uh, that uh, I don't currently need and um, basically to organize the drawing as well now the other reasons why we use the layers are like for instance if I wanna print or plot this drawing now when I have different colors are of my layers that you see over here all these different colors are assigned uh, to the printer to print at different thicknesses so that's why it's extremely important that when I work with layers I make sure that I'm using the specific colors uh, required for that layer for instance uh, the color for the wall when it prints out would be thicker than the color for uh, I would say the furniture okay so and these uh, colors are given a specific thickness in a plot file so when you send the drawing to plot AutoCAD knows what color to print at what thickness okay so that's why every company every architecture firm every engineering firm out there that you see they always work with layers and they always work with different colors so now let's see, for example, uh, what the layer panel looks like. This is the layer panel out here. It has these tools that we are going to see soon. Uh, starting with the first one called as the layer properties, which manages layers and layer properties. So all I have to do is click on that, and then the whole layer panel window pops up. So I'll get to this uh, in a minute, but before I get there, I'm gonna just review a few more tools. Uh, the next one that we see we see over here is make objects layer current. Like for instance, if I select a certain layer, right now I'm on dimensions. If I want to make the door layer current, I just click on it and click on that. So it makes that layer current. The third one that you see is uh, match the layer. Now what this does is, for instance, I want to change the layer of uh, my walls and match it with my staircase even my staircase would convert to the walls layer so again sometimes everything is not on the perfect layer so you would want to match from the existing to the destination layer we'll see how that works let's go to the next one it says previous undo the last change or set of changes made to the layer so if I have made any changes to my layer in my layer properties manager then it will uh, from here I can go back and undo it 
The next one we see is an isolate layer uh, where we hide or lock all layers except the one that we select. Like for instance, uh, I just want to work with my walls layer. So I'm going to isolate my wall layer from the rest of the drawing and rest of the layers. So I can turn off all the other layers in one go and just work with my wall layer. So we'll see uh, when we get to that. Uh, then the next one is uni isolate or unisolate. Sorry. Uh, so basically, that brings all the hidden layers back to life when I unisolate it. Going to the next one, uh, it's called as freeze layers, and the last one called as turn off layer. So we'll see the difference between both uh, of these. Both of them uh, turn off their layers, but the freeze layer is something that. Uh, even after you turn off you don't have access to but the thing is when I hide a layer and it's just uh, hidden on the screen but the uh, drawing is still behind it okay so we'll see an example and you would understand better the difference between these two going to the next place where uh, in the layer panel there are these small little icons the first one is the light bulb where I can turn on and off that specific layer Okay, which is exactly the same as this one. Okay, so I can turn it off from there, or I can turn it off from here. Then the next one we have is uh, what do you call? It? Is freeze or thaw the layer again, which is the same as this one. So again, when we do that, we'll see what happens. The third one we see is lock the layer. Lock the layer. What it does? It just locks the layer, and it, it doesn't hide it. It just locks the layer, so we cannot by mistake select it. So let's go and see how the layer panel works. So the first thing I'm going to do right now is start with Layers Properties Manager. This is the place where I need to go all the time to create new layers, delete the layer, modify the layer, hide the layer, isolate the layer. So I'll be using this thing quite a bit. Now <coughs> I have used the AutoCAD template and in the AutoCAD template you see the template comes with all these layers that were already there okay, they're already predefined but uh, a lot of times the layer that you need probably might not be here so that's the time when we have to start making our own layers like for instance if I want to make a layer and call it as uh, let's see I'm gonna make a layer called uh, like uh, a tree layer for example okay we have a small little tree or a plant layer so let's see what I have to do so I have to go up here uh, if I move my cursor you see it says new layer and I can click on that layer and you see a new layer is formed uh, I can I have to go change the name or give it a name this is the first time I'm working on on that layer right so I give it a name call it um, let's see I'm gonna call it a plant P L A N T okay now the next thing is do I want to keep the layer on in my display or do I want it off second one is do I want to freeze it or do I want to unfreeze it same thing goes with lock or unlock uh, the next one we have is the color what color do I want for the tree do I want to keep it red or do I want to change it to us to another color now let's see I'm just gonna go ahead and change the color so I click on that and I'm going to take green for that layer and hit OK okay so if you see I got the plant layer it's turned on it's unlocked it's green color then the next one is the line type line type meaning what type of a line do I want for that specific layer do I want a continuous line which is all these that you see over here or do I want a hidden line which is the one you see right here or there could be uh, n number of lines so I will pick the line type that I need for that specific layer over here now uh, by default it goes in the continuous layer but you see over here there's a hidden layer there's a phantom layer there's a center line I can always go change that anytime I want but usually the best thing to do is change it when uh, we are making our new layer so to change the line type all I have to do is click on that 
and it already gives me the loaded line type. There's a big chance you might just see two or three over here, uh, but if you want more, all you have to do is go hit load, and this shows you a ton of other different line types that you could use. The double ISO border center line has so many different types, defy, so it keeps going. There might be like around 50 or 100 or so. So I'm just going to cancel that. Uh, if I wanted to select, I would just select a hidden and hit OK. But I don't want that, right? All I want is a continuous line. And I hit OK. So I have my plant layer on a continuous line. Now the next one is uh, the line weight. If I click on that, and you see, I could assign different line weights for that particular layer, as in a particular uh, line type but usually this is what I r really don't work with why because I already told you before every color is given a specific thickness when it prints on the plotter so that's why I really don't need to use my line weights over here so uh, that was the line weight so I would just say leave this alone a lot of times you can just put it just to view on the drawing but typically it's not the right practice to do so I'll just leave it as it is now the last one is what this one is select plot style I'm gonna give the plot style as I was saying just as normal which is going to be uh, default for this program right now but every company that you work for have their plot style defining which color to print at what thickness okay so I'm gonna leave it right there so we are done making a new layer and we called it a plant layer but the next thing you see over here you see on the dimensions there is a tick mark now what the tick mark means that currently I am in the dimension layer but now I changed the layer uh, I made a new layer called it a plant so I want to make that plant layer current so what would I do all I have to do is click on the plant layer so it gets selected and then I have to do the tick mark and then it should update over here and then it should make the plant layer current okay there you go so I have a plant layer and I have this color already made so if I am drawing or putting in something into this layer it should come out this color continuous type and normal for instance if I am making a line you see that it's coming out the the color of the new layer that I made okay so I'm gonna leave it right there now let's go to uh, the next one now the next one says new layer layer uh, VP frozen in all viewports so what it does is create a new layer and freeze it freezes it in all existing layout viewports this button is accessible from the model tab or the layout tab. So I'm going to talk about freezing uh, in a bit so we get to that later on. So the next one is delete the layer. So all you have to do is click on the layer you want to delete and hit that button. And what that should do is delete that layer. Right now maybe I can delete my beams layer because I really I'm not showing any beams in this drawing beams is more of a structural drawing so I can select it and I can delete it you have to make sure that when you're deleting a layer uh, you have to make sure you're currently not on the same layer so right now I'm on a different layer so I will be able to delete the beams layer by just clicking on it and hitting delete right see the beam layer disappeared so currently I'm still current on the plant layer Okay, now we will be continuing uh, in the next tutorial, so please stay tuned. This is a pretty important chapter that I would like to finish it uh, maybe in the next chap next tutorial or the one after. Okay, thank you.